Hi, everybody. I want to tell you, I am tired of this shit. I don't know about you, but this is getting ridiculous. I went to the store today. And I go in, because we're talking about relationships. So I figured, why not have to talk about relationships with the community that we live in? And the stores, remember what customer service used to be like? Well, I went to a store today and it was ridiculous. First of all, you've got to go in, you know, the where's your mask and blah, 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 blah. And so I'm going around shopping. And then I go to pay. And I have my money out. Because I don't know, you know, those credit cards get you in a lot of damn trouble. So... I, my bill was $9.95. And she says, do you want to up it? I says, what do you mean? She says, well, we don't have any change because there's a shortage. Now, do you believe that? Oh, come on, people. So I said, no, I'm not going to give you my nipple. Can you imagine what that would look like if by the end of the day? Think about all those things that those companies are ripping us off with, and we just sit there and eat it. Well, I wouldn't. So I just left my stuff and walked out. But before I walked out, cashier was really funny. She said, I don't blame you. She said, these masks are stupid. Because I'm hard of hearing, and you couldn't understand what she said, so she pulled it down for me. You know that that plexiglass they got up there. Now, what in the hell is that one? I mean, come on. They touch everything. You got to put your money in there. Well, she went around to the side, took her mask off, and we had a nice conversation. She said, I don't blame you for leaving your stuff here. Then I went to the grocery store because I needed some dog food. And I get two cans of dog food and I go up to the thing and the lady says, do you have any dogs? I says, at home? And she says, well, we don't believe you. They sh you should have brought them with you. And I said, no, they're at home. Well, we can't sell the dog food because you can't prove that you got a dog. It's not damn ridiculous. So, you know, by this time, I am ornery as hell. So what I did, I went and got a bag. And I took it in there. And I says, hey, put your hand in here. And she did. I mean, if somebody come in and said, would you put your hand in this bag without letting you see, wouldn't you do something? And she said, oh, this is warm and squishy. I said, now can I go get some toilet paper? Oh, what is this world coming to? You just never know, do you? So they're claiming we don't have enough cash change. Even if it's a penny. Look at how much Walmarts and, and Target and all these other places are going to back in at night. Think about it. Anyway, I don't know who in the hell that puts these rules in. Time to wake up, people. Well, that's my rant and raving today. Tomorrow, I'll see you. Have a good evening.